Hello everyone, I'm David Calavera, I'm the Chief Technology Officer of Notlify, and I'm very glad to be part of the conference today. As Matt mentioned during the keynote, in the last few months we've explored new ways to offer you more programming capabilities in our platform in the same way that we're doing today with the general availability of Netlify build plugins. I'm here to show you a demo of that product. Unfortunately, you won't be able to play with it today, but we would love to hear your feedback, so please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions or comments that you might have after the talk. You might be familiar with a very old Netlify feature called Redirects. It allows you to shape traffic from your website in a declarative way. So just write in plain text, you can say, I want to take the traffic from this path to this other path. You can also proxy to external APIs that you might be using and keeping everything under the same domain. This is a very nice format, but unfortunately it's very constrained. We cannot put every single feature in just plain text, right? It also becomes very cumbersome to manage if you have hundreds of thousands of these rules, like many of our customers actually do. So when we start revisiting this functionality, we decided to take a step back and think what could you do if we just offer you basic, basic building blocks that allow you to do anything you want within a very small context. And we're wondering what are the possibilities that this could open if we just gave you free access to the traffic management that we already have within Notify. So today I'm very happy to announce Notify Edge Handlers. This new product will allow you to write code, build it and deploy it directly in our Edge network in the same way that you manage everything within your Notify website. The way that you write code is by simple creating new functions that trigger events. So in this case, I'm saying when I receive a request, I want you to just respond with hello world. And as you can see at the bottom, I have a declarative rule that says, I want you to apply this function only for requests that go to the fetch path. And I know that this demo is very simple. So in the spirit of the Jamstack, I prepared a small experiment that improves upon this. I'm going to use data from the COVID tracking project to offer localized information for the United States to visitors that come to my website. They offer a very simple JSON format for all their data. So this it's very convenient in this example. I call it localized COVID tracking play. Let me show you how it looks like in the browser. This is a very simple static site. I'm using New York as a placeholder. So no matter where you are in the world right now, if you go to this website, you will see New York, New York. And then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna personalize this homepage for visitors in the United States so they get the information for that's the states where they are directly when they go to the homepage. Let me jump into the code editor to show you this. So I have here basic scaffolding. And imp I'm importing the data so I can work with it easily uh, in development. I also wrote a very small render function that is just gonna allow me to stream bytes to the client. But here you could bring your own framework, your own libraries, templates, whatever you want. And the first thing that I need to do here is I need to get the information from the visitor to know which data I need to show. So let me write the code for that. So with these three lines of code, I'm using our localization API to get the United States region where this visitor is. And then I'm just looking for that region in the COVID tracking project data.
since there might be visitors coming from outside the US, I need to protect this data just in this condition so I can still show the placeholder to those visitors. Now I'm going to create an object that I will render to the client with a little bit more information so the visitor knows where they are and they can trust that the data is correct. So now that I have this prop subject, um, I'm going to respond with it to the client. So this is all the code that you need to write to personalize a home page for your own visitors. Let me push it to GitHub and see how Notify handles it. Now, if I go to my Notify dashboard, I can see that the build is going to start. Here it is. Let's give it a few seconds. It's extracting, extracting the cache from my previous builds. And right now, it's fetching the code from GitHub. It's telling me that I have everything installed already, so it doesn't have to install any dependencies. And here, Netlify Build is building the, the site. I'm using a very specific plugin to bundle and deploy these functions to our edge locations. That is done already, so now it's just keeping the cache safe, and here it says the site is live. So now when I refer to this website, it should show me information from California, which is where I am right now. And here it is saying that for Sunnyvale, California, we have this information. It's also telling me that this is being served from San Francisco, which is the closest location to my house. So I hope this demo will spark some thoughts uh, and feedback and comments uh, for you. So please feel free to reach out if you want in Twitter, community, or email. Thanks a lot. Bye.